Plymouth dealer. Even new ways to save. The 96 Buyer's Choice Drive Away. It's your choice. Our biggest cash back ever on 96 models. Or our lowest APR. Even our lowest lease rates on all 96 cars and minivans. Right here, right now. This is where you want to be. For a limited time. Only at your local Chrysler and Plymouth dealer. Recently, Dave Thomas hosted the Big Eaters Convention. The meal? Wendy's delicious Big Bacon Classic with Biggie Fries and a drink. Everyone agreed they could barely finish except Big Bob Levitt. He had two. He's the man. Wendy's Big Bacon Classic Combo, the official meal of the Big Eaters Club. Right now, J.C. Penney is having a white sale. A blue sale. Even a pink sale. With so many items for your bed and bath, it's our most colorful sale. The J.C. Penney White Sale. Hurry in and save a little green. out for America. A total distraction that could lead to total destruction. All you have to do is put all the lights out. With thousands of different puzzles, it threatens to put the entire nation on the blink. It's Lights Out for America. Hey, who turned the lights out? I think you're the most beautiful face I've ever seen. I'm not like other people. I had this feeling that you would change everything I knew. What happened in that classroom is impossible. Why you look like that? You really think you can be like us? You took whatever's in your beard and you put it right in the face. Powder is one of the year's best films. Four stars. Powder, rated PG-13. Now playing at a theater near you. Wrongly in prison for her family's murder. I can't go back there. This girl just escaped from prison. The cops want her caught. I want this case. The killer wants her dead. <laughs> Somebody died. What she wants he is the man. leads to an ending you'd never expect. <laughs> Kelly Martin, Antonio Sabato Jr., Homicides, Reed Diamond, Her Hidden Truth, NBC Sunday. Time. Four minutes, eight seconds. Fastest video picker in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, how do you do it? Total concentration, Matt. You pick a section, stick to it. If you're going for action and adventure, don't be sidetracked by the glamour of new releases. <laughs> so which section do you pick? Martial arts, K-Shelf. Got uh, Kung Fu Girl, Kung Fu Fighter, Kung Fu Head Crusher. A section's right by the door. I was in, I was out. <laughs> hey, everybody. Oh, hey, John. Tough oh, luck, John. John. Yeah. All I said was, hey, everybody. Oh, but we know you. We love you. And Sam mentioned Tina was breaking up with you tonight. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. They made me tell. How'd they do that? They asked, like twice. <laughs> Come on, Johnny, sit down. Okay, what happened? Oh, you don't want me to get into all that. What'd you do wrong? Did you take her to Lazarium? <laughs> no, everything was going fine. Then how do you know she wants to break up with you tonight? She called me and said our relationship wasn't working at all, and that we had to get together for dinner and have a very painful conversation. That could mean anything. Poor Johnny. Oh. She's so lovely and sweet. Mm, and nice. Too bad she's dumping your ass. I liked her a lot. Remember, she laughed at my knock-knock joke. Are you two having trouble in the, uh, you know, the art department? There's just not much passion. It's sort of bleh. Bleh? Oh, that's bad. Yeah, bleh sounds pretty good to me. Thanks, honey. I'm so not looking forward to this. We're gonna have dinner tonight, and then she's gonna drop me, and that'll be that. It's over. God, I just wish I had a little more time. Wait a second. What if we all come to dinner with you? She can't break up with you in front of a group of people. Why not? That's the rules. <laughs> you know, that's not a bad idea. She's very shy in a group. I bet she wouldn't say a word. We'll be like a giant diversion. Yeah. Let's put the tangerine beef on ice and help this man in his time of need. Love Squad, let's roll. <laughs> Here she comes. Hey, 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 Dean, over here. Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi God, Johnny. You look great. Oh. Hi, Janine. Hi. Hi. 
Matt Parker. Hi, Matt. Knock, knock. <laughs> Hi, Judy. Hi. Hi, Judy. Hi, Hi Sam. Hi. <sighs> what are you guys all doing here? Oh, well, well, they were having dinner here, too. Isn't that something? <laughs> so I invited them to join us. Oh, I, I thought that we were, you know, going to have some time to... Sure, sit, 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 sit. Yeah, but, Johnny, I, I really need to talk to you alone. Tina, where did you get that cute little backpack? <laughs> Don't you love that, Drew? Oh, I love it to death. Ooh. Oh, gosh, well, thank you. <laughs> you know, actually, there's a table right here. Well, actually, there's room here. Sit down. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. You sit right Hi. there. Hi. And I'll sit over there. Because, um, because I, I, I want to uh, look at you. Let's order some drinks, huh? What are you drinking, Tina? Let me guess. Fancy water, right? Sorry? No. Rob Roy. Who loves Liam Neeson. Uh, yeah, yeah, he is very good. Johnny? Could I have two minutes? Hey, really? did I ever tell you that story about the fishing rod? Oh, I oh, love yeah, that story. Really Jimmy, happy to hear the story. Johnny, I really do need to talk to so you. So I was in Budapest, and I was having trouble getting these fishing rods mm -hmm. through customs. <laughs> Sammy, Sammy, the whole story. Come on. <laughs> I knew that I wanted to take junior year abroad, but I wasn't sure what country. From the beginning. Come on. <laughs> I was a breech birth, and as soon as my mother was in into labor, the ptosis hit in, and she was just... Is fishing an odd? Is fishing an odd? Which turns out to sound like Romanian slang for I'm smuggling heroin and explosives. <laughs> story. Tell it again. Tell it again. Oh, this place is right around the corner. Mr. Yogurt. Best frozen yogurt on the eastern seaboard. Johnny, we need to talk. I need hey, to... look at that. A shortcut. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Johnny. You are going to love this place. Johnny. They got chocolates. They got vanilla? Johnny. They got chocolate vanilla swirl? Vanilla swirl! Look at it, it's it! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I don't want to do this in front of all of your friends, Johnny, but I've been trying to talk to you alone all night. I mean, this is very embarrassing, Jonathan. But I think our relationship... Hold it! Give me your money. Let's go! Good God, Trudy, how can you be so blasé about this? We were mugged. Come on, Matt. So, we got a little mugged. Everybody gets a little mugged. <laughs> Sam, he must have been scared to death. Did you see him run? Oh, when Sam senses danger, he flees. I find it very attractive. <laughs> oh, talk about adrenaline. You know, I feel like my skin is on fire. Could you believe the police? It was like this happens every day. <laughs> Which, of course, it does, but not to us. It happened so fast, I never really got a good look at the guy. He looked exactly like Neil Young. He didn't look anything like Neil Young. Hmm, true. But he had a Neil Young vibe. You know, I never had a real gun pointed at me before. What a feeling. I mean, all I had to do was squeeze the trigger and... <gasps> <gasps> yeah, it was all very scary. Where's the remote? It's not going to be on TV, Trudy. No, I want to watch Charles Grodin. I love that guy. Uh, Johnny, I really need to talk to you. Now? Right now. Alone. you got to be kidding. We, we, we just got mugged. Right now, Johnny. <sighs> okay, all right. Let's just get this over with. Come on. Look, I know what you want to say, but can we talk about this? I mean, does it really have to just end? I can't believe we're raising a child in a city like this. Maybe we should just move to Connecticut. Connecticut? Oh, you are not going to move to Connecticut. Trudy, we were mugged. I mean, my God. We only lost a couple of hundred bucks and some credit cards. The man was a professional. It was a business transaction. He pointed a loaded gun at us. You don't know if it was loaded. Janine, talk to her. You don't think it was loaded? Of course it was loaded. It was a mugging. Now, every time we walk Sebastian to the park, we'll think that man is going to leap out at us. <laughs> what the hell was that? I mean, I liked it. Don't get me wrong. But what the hell was that? I don't know. I don't know. Something happened when I was looking down that gun barrel. You know, I've never been in mortal danger before. Oh, it made me want you, Johnny. More than ever before. <laughs> wow. 
pretty far up. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> you must say this is a completely new side of you. Johnny, she must really be giving it to him. <laughs> How can you eat, Trudy? You don't eat, you die. Simple fact. So, uh, we'll be leaving now. <laughs> Good night. That doesn't look like they're breaking up, does it? <laughs> Not at all. I wonder where Sam is now. wants to be a good father. Daddy! Who is she? She's going to be your new mother. <gasps> she longs to be a mother. Oh, I thought you were not But before two identical strangers... What I see is me. I see me too. ...can get them to live happily ever after, they have to ditch the big bad witch. Ah! Gum in your hair? Yes. Kirstie Alley, Steve Gutenberg, the Olsen twins, Mary-Kate and Ashley. It Takes Two. Rated PG. Starts Friday, November 17th at a theater near you. Naked windows? Come to the J.C. Penney window covering sale, where you'll find drapes, blinds, and other attractive window dressings at very decent prices. The window covering sale. J.C. Penney. It's better. Not better. Surprise. Sweet. Mm. Ocean spray. Baby red and tangerine grapefruit juice drink. Tangerine. Surprise. Surprise. Very, very sweet. It's not any ordinary grapefruit juice. Ruby red and tangerine. Crave the wave. Boy, these smooth illusions really do contour your hips, thighs, and legs. Mmm, smooth. The fat disappears. Oh, fab. Oh. I'll tell you, if I can have them made in opera length gloves, my Aunt Gert could wave goodbye without knocking the person over next to her. Oy vey! I kill for them. Pain smooth illusions. It's like having liposuction without the surgery. I would have kept running all night. But I didn't have enough change for the Lincoln Tunnel. <laughs> and you don't think that totally abandoning your wife in a time of danger might seem to the uninitiated like you're a coward? <gasps> no. <laughs> a coward assesses the situation, then decides to run away. My fleeing the scene was totally instinctual. It's how we Sloans have survived for millions of years. It's evolution in action. So I'm like a speedy wildebeest. And while the rest of you weaker wildebeests get devoured and mauled by lions, I'm already out of danger and sipping the sweet water from the mud hole. <laughs> well, you are the only one who still has your wallet. Yep. $13, my video membership card, and a fake ID from college. So what happened after the mugging? Did Tina dump your ass? <laughs> no, sir. I would say decidedly not. The mugging had the most bizarre effect on her. Tell, tell, tell. It's incredible, Sammy. It turns out that danger turns her on. We walked all the way from Janine and Matt's looking for trouble. She was wild. She whipped the beret right off a guardian angel's head. <laughs> that is wild. I'm telling you, a little bit of danger. And she becomes sexually carnivorous. Sexually carnivorous, nice turn of phrase. Thank you. You gotta write that down. I did. It's almost like she has a secret identity. It's like she's, she's danger girl. Well, I will literally be a monkey's uncle. You will, indeed. I must say, it was probably the most wild, passionate night I've ever had. Oh, that would explain the bite marks on your neck. Yeah. And the torn pillow. Yeah. And the broken plate. No, that was Manny. Oh. Well, that was a wild night. But even without Manny, it was quite impressive. Bravo, my good man. The real question is, Holmes, how much danger must she be in to turn her into danger girl? And does she have control over these great powers? <laughs> Only time will tell, Watson. Good luck, danger boy. <laughs> Looks like it's in pretty darn good shape. Oh, excellent shape. New roof, new plumbing. You understand we won't consider buying the house unless the seller includes the seven antique Windsor chairs. Well, I'm sure they'll insist. Okay, then. Oh, it's a nice house, huh? Oh, it's wonderful. Don't you think it's wonderful? 
wonderful. What did we do to drive you away? We love you guys. We love you guys. Oh, oh, yeah, sure. You love us just enough to move away from us and never see us again. We're moving for Sebastian. What a lame excuse. It's Sam, isn't it? Look, I know he can be very annoying, infuriating even, but you don't see me moving away. Kitty, what is that fabulous smell? Uh, oh, that's pine trees. There's a state park right behind the house. It's like having your own 300-acre backyard. Heavy upkeep. What about the school system? Well, it's consistently rated the top three in the state. <laughs> so there are two that are better. And crime, is there any crime? Well, I'm not going to lie to you people. Actually, we did have a break-in over on Shady Glen Avenue. See? You are so naive. You can't just run away from this stuff. That was 1984. <laughs> you got something in your teeth. Oh, boy, what a movie. Yeah. Nobody makes me cry like Jessica Lange. When they had to sell the truck to Wilford Brimley, oh, man. That really got to me. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, Johnny, I'm not really in the mood. You're not? No. Ugh, sorry. Can I get you something to eat? Nah. Thirsty? Uh-uh. Then why don't I just take you home? <laughs> Maybe through the park. Park? Yeah. Let's walk right through Central Park. It's after midnight. That could be very dangerous. <laughs> Damn, we can't afford it. Oh, yes, we can. <laughs> Nuts. Mm, this is pathetic. You are not moving anywhere. I would have no problem living in a nice, clean, safe place. And the suburbs are great for kids. Sure. If you want your son to grow up in the parking lot of a 7-Eleven, drinking Mountain Dew out of a paper bag. <laughs> Come, Come in. Come in. Yeah. Hey, John. I have just been through the most amazing 12 hours. I really wish you could just plug me into the VCR and play me back. <laughs> Danger girl. Danger girl. I'm telling you, this girl single-handedly redefines foreplay. You were out all night. Oh, yeah, this is something, guys. I haven't felt like this in other relationships. There is passion. There is adrenaline. Granted, my insurance company may drop me. <laughs> Guess which one is the single man? The one who's looking for a nice, quiet little place in the suburbs, or the one who licks the third rail for fun? Wait, you're not still talking about moving, are you? We may have found a house. How could you let this happen? It's not our fault. It, it's the school system and the damn pine trees. Come on, guys. One little mugging isn't so bad that you have to move, is it? For normal people, a mugging is pretty bad. For you, it's Spanish fly. <laughs> you can't move out of New York. Think of all the great stuff you'd miss. Why, you'd miss the whole new Broadway season. Okay, that's a bad example. <laughs> But you can't move away from us. Look, if you love Connecticut so much, we'll go to the top of the Empire State Building. You can see Connecticut from there whenever you want. Plus, you can spit on taxi cabs. <laughs> yeah, what he said. Adrenaline going? Yes! How did you get up here? I crawled up the fire escape, came in through the window like a common thief. Did anybody see you? The police went by, they shined a light against the building, missed my foot by about that much. It was fantastic. Oh, Tina, you're really diving right into this whole danger thing, aren't you? I know, it's bizarre, isn't it? I know you might have it in me. Come on, let's go do something really nuts. You just scaled the building. Wasn't that dangerous enough to, you know, get you going? 
No, not really. <laughs> Johnny! Hey, Johnny! Johnny? Johnny, I was just across the street talking shop with the night guy at the Stanford Arms. I may be dreaming, but I thought I saw somebody climbing in your window. My window? I don't think so. Tina, did you see anything? No. No, I didn't see anything. <laughs> That's not the darndest thing. Manny, what is that? That's a sock full of pennies. I keep it under my chair just in case of intruders, or if somebody needs exact change. <laughs> hey, is that Charles Groden? I love that guy. <laughs> Right ahead and watch, Manny. We're gonna step out and get some air. In the middle of the night? You sure that's a good idea? Oh, very sure. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> what do you think, Johnny, huh? Wow. <laughs> Top of the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> Can you believe this? <laughs> uh. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, don't get too close to the edge. What's too close? <laughs> this too close? <laughs> Is this too close? <laughs> I'm back down. Yeah, I'm back down. No, 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 Johnny, we're gonna do it right here. Right here? Yeah, we're gonna get naked, and we're gonna hang our body over the edge. Come on. <laughs> okay, that's it. There's the line. What line? The not worth it for great sex line. I never thought I'd find one, but there it is, and I drew it. Johnny, loosen up. Shake it to the east. Shake it to the west. Shake it to the moon. You love the best. That's a very nice dance. Now let's get away from the edge there, okay? You know what? You're really ruining my mood. Well, maybe that's not such a bad thing. I want a man who can look danger in the face with me. Are you or are you not that man? You know, Tina, when you put it like that, you make me realize something. What's that? You are completely insane. <laughs> I'm climbing down. You climb back down, you climb right out of my life. Hey, I simply don't need sex that badly. <laughs> Seems safe. I like that. Are you putting in a heated pool? Because if you're not putting in a heated pool, this really isn't going to affect my life. Come on. Well, what do you think? I mean, it's, like it's a beautiful neighborhood. I don't know what to think. This is so out of my league. I mean, I've never lived anywhere that didn't have a letter on the door. It seems so grown up. How could you buy a house? It's one thing to fantasize about it, but God, don't do it. Don't move away from us. You can't tell me that you actually love this place. I love it. Let's do it. Kitty? Why don't we talk about a bit over dinner? How about some Chinese? Oh, well, I'm afraid that'll be a bit of a drive. There's no Chinese restaurant in town. The closest one is about 40 minutes. No Chinese food. Tangerine bee? Tangerine bee? 40 minutes is just way too far. Oh, yeah, you can walk from here to Lincoln Center and back in 40 minutes. Or the Met, or the Guggenheim. Not that we ever go to any of these places. <laughs> yeah, but you could. And that's what counts. <laughs> Three minutes, 28 seconds, new record. Woo! Woo! Let's see what you got. <laughs> all men are brothers, all men are enemies, all men are liars. Hey, you stuck to the A section, huh? Yes, man. And you all owe me five bucks for late charges in the last three movies we didn't watch. <laughs> Shh. Listen. Oh, Danger Girl. That was our song. I wonder where she is now. In a loony bin someplace. <laughs> I gotta tell you, Johnny, you do attract some crazies, don't you? Woo! <laughs>
I'm so glad you guys didn't move. I haven't lived more than 76 blocks away from you, Janine. Uh, not even when we were kids. I can't imagine 30 miles. Me neither. town in the world? How could we even think of leaving? Uh, excuse me. Hmm? Hmm? Did you have total for breakfast today? No. Still think you got all of its vitamins and minerals? Uh, probably. Oh, no! Let's see what you ate, shall we? Breakfast. Not very high in vitamins, eh, bucko? Lunch. Not too bad. Oh, let's just skip this one. Dinner. You're trying. And the results. A bit short on some of these vitamins. You know, three out of four adults miss something. So try Total. It has 100% of 11 of the many vitamins and minerals you need. Wake up to Total. The new Chrysler Sebring was built upon something called the Goldilocks Principle. It occurred to us that while most luxury cars were too big, most sport coupes were too small. We wanted the Sebring to be, well, just right. It not only has a sporty 24-valve engine and a race-inspired suspension, but it also gives you the luxury of an actual back seat. Which means there's enough room for Goldilocks and three or four of her friends. Oh, my God. I can't believe you're back so soon. Tell me about it. Knee surgery is not my idea of fun. You in pain? Not now. My doctor gave me Tylenol, extra strength. What, Tylenol works on that kind of pain? Here I am. <laughs> More than aspirin, more than ibuprofen. From post-surgical pain to headaches, doctors recommend Tylenol the most. Good run, huh? Yeah, not bad. It's not over. Oh, man. <laughs> Tylenol, the pain reliever hospitals use most. Next, everyone's dying to know George's secret. Sing it, sister. But how far will they go to get it out of him? An all-new Seinfeld, NBC Next. Some things about sex aren't sexy, like sexually transmitted diseases. So be careful out there, okay? Some things about sex aren't sexy, like sexually transmitted diseases. So be careful out there, okay? To get ready for Las Vegas Monday, Will Smith and LL Cool J went for a little ride with the Flying L vibe. This, this, this uh, ain't our plane. What do you mean? This is not a good idea, man. No, this is a great idea. This is a great idea. I mean, I've been wanting to do this for years. You ready, man? You ready? <laughs> How to kill you! Happy landings! For the Fresh Prince in the house, honeymoon in Vegas, and Robin Williams on The Tonight Show on NBC Las Vegas Monday.